Hi everyone, this is Laura Hammock from the Marble Jar channel, and in today's video, I'll tell you how I use Google Sheets to organize my citations and reference sources for papers and research projects. So I'm in my first year of graduate school, and we do a lot of writing. References and citations are very important, as they are for any discipline. So I suppose if I was writing a dissertation with a hundred citations, I would feel the need to pay for and learn a whole complicated citation software. But since I'm not, I prefer to use tools that I already use and that I know well. And despite the fact that I'm not writing a dissertation, I have written some papers that have had over 25 sources, so I do need some kind of system to organize and manage my citations. I started out, as most people do, with kind of a hodgepodge system of just cutting and pasting URLs from the internet and sticking them at the bottom of the Word document of the paper I was writing. Or if I'm doing research, I would just like copy and paste URLs with maybe some of the quotes from the study or article. The problem was, if I had multiple quotes, I couldn't organize them by topic for fear of losing the reference link, or I'd have to duplicate the URL multiple times. Plus, scrolling down to the document to check these references was annoying, so I needed a better, less messy system. Here's what I do now. For each research project or paper, I create a new Google Sheets spreadsheet for references. You could easily do this in any spreadsheet program, Excel, whatever. I just happen to like Google Sheets. So I, I name it something like class name, and then the project name, and then citations or quotes. So let's just use a research project that I did for my policy class recently as an example. My spreadsheet name is policy, that's a class name, X felon voting rights, that's a topic, citations and quotes. So then I make two tabs. The first tab is called quotes, the second is called sources. So I'm gonna put a sample of the citation spreadsheet up on my Google Drive to share with all of you. To use it, just follow the link that I will provide in the notes section, make a copy of it into your own drive, and then you can use it or modify it as you see fit. So now back to the spreadsheet. So as I'm doing my research and reading a bunch of different articles, in this case mostly news articles and opinion pieces, I started finding uh, quotes or statistics that help me to understand the issue or that I may want to use in my paper. So I copy the quote and I paste it into this first column. Okay, so that second column is a reference number. I'm going to want to remember where I got this quote from. So I go into the article and I copy the URL or the website address. I'm going to want to note some basics about the source and what the article is about. So in this case, it's an editorial from the Washington Post editorial board. So now I go into the sources tab and I paste it in the URL under website address. I note some of the basics about the article, and this is really more for my own recallability than anything else, and I number it, number one. So now I'm gonna have a bunch of other articles to put in here, so I might as well go ahead and just fill in these numbers one through 10. Okay, back to the quotes tab. So I'm gonna indicate that this quote came from article one. Now I can paste several quotes from the same article. I just need to indicate where they came from. So here is my completed spreadsheet for this research project. I ended up having 13 sources and 38 quotes. I quite obviously did not use all of those in my paper, but they helped to shape my understanding of the topic and they served as a good repository for the quotes and statistics that I did end up using. Just a quick note, because of the nature of this research project, most of my sources were articles about current events, but this system also works great for scholarly research since much of that is accessible on the internet these days through your academic institution's research portal. I also use this system to capture, capture quotes from books. You can check out my video on exporting quotes from Kindle books into a spreadsheet such as this. So there are two things that I find really helpful about this system. Number one, it's easy to categorize. So because each quote has its own line, you can tag each quote with a theme or a category. For example, in this column, I'm going to put in the main reasoning that states use to disenfranchise ex-offenders. There are a handful. Safety, punishment, violation of social contract, political ideology, race, etc. Not every quote is going to get a tag, but I can tag all the ones that apply and then I can sort by this column. And that way, if that's the way that I've decided to structure my paper, in this case by state rationale, I have quotes that are all nicely grouped together and ready to use for each topic. In addition, there are lots of different columns there so you can have many different themes, as many as you want, however you decide to organize your paper. Number two, it is easy to cite while I'm drafting. So I'm writing my paper and I want to use a good statistic or a good quote. So here's one, McAuliffe's order affected 
200,000 people in a state where 3.9 million people voted in the 2012 presidential election. So I go ahead and I quote this in my paper. And now I don't want to slow down my writing process to do the whole citation now. For me, that is an entirely different thinking process. So when I'm drafting, I just put the reference number in parentheses right behind the quote, like this. So then once I've drafted and edited the paper, I go back in looking for reference numbers and I replace them with the proper citations. So this is easy to do since I have a nice centralized place where I've gathered all of that source website information. So this system has worked really well for me. Let me know what you think. Comments are always appreciated and thanks for watching.